Okay, this is a Galilean thermometer. It's a very good demonstration of buoyancy. What we have is a column of water with lots of little beads into it, in it. Those beads all have exactly the same volume. And we know that the buoyant force on each one of them is equal to the weight of the water displaced. So each one of those having the same volume, it will have a slightly different density. So the upward force is going to be the same on each one of them, but the downward force will be slightly different. So the more dense ones will have a higher downward force than the less dense ones. As the density of the water changes, the downward force on some will be greater than the upward force of buoyancy, and so they will sink. So the most dense ones at the moment are at the bottom, the least dense ones are at the top, and if the temperature changes, you will find that they will either drop down if the water becomes less dense, the temperature becomes higher, or they will rise up if the water becomes more dense and the temperature becomes a little bit lower. Now, if you hang on to the water, you may be able to change the density by raising it slightly. Because what I'm doing is warming the water up. And so the water is now less dense than that. And so for the same volume, we've got less buoyant force, but we've got the same weight force. And so the balance of the forces is causing our mass to accelerate, albeit very slowly, downwards. And the water down the bottom is cool, so we've got a bit of a temperature inversion. This is then a really good example of buoyancy.